Loki is the evil trickster fire god, ever mischievous, deceitful and scheming, and one of the best known characters in Norse poetry and saga. As his name derives from the Germanic root for flame, it is believed that Loki was originally a fire spirit. Loki was a trickster figure and, as a shapeshifter, could change into different animals at will. He fathered two children, Nari and Vali, by his wife, the goddess A. Singer Sijin. But since he could also take the form of the opposite sex, he could give birth, and had several more children this way. Loki's name is mentioned more than that of any other god, and is undoubtedly one of the most inventive conceptions of folklore. He took part in many of the adventures of the gods, often accompanying the main god Odin, or Odin's son, the god of the real Thor, on his travels, though always stirring up trouble. Loki was able to charm everyone, despite his deep cunning, with his wit and good looks. Loki had brothers named Byliest, and, Helblindi. Although he was normally an antagonist of the gods, he sometimes lived in Asgard, the celestial realm of the gods. The gods and the giants used to be enemies, but at some point in the distant past he had sworn an oath with Odin that made them blood brothers, and because of these ties, the other gods enjoyed their company and tolerated their excesses and machinations until they got out of hand. Loki was always thinking of new angles, which sometimes proved advantageous to the gods, but often had disastrous consequences. When the gods burned the giantess Angerbota as a witch, Loki ate her heart. Angerbota was a frost giantess with whom Loki had a relationship. From this union three children were born, the wolf Fenrir, the world serpent and the maiden Hel. Odin cast the serpent into the depths of the sea surrounding the world and placed Hel in the underworld to be his queen. The Asur succeeded in binding the huge Fenrir, but the god Tyr lost his right hand in the effort. Loki participated in the disappearance of the goddess Idun. He lured her away from Asgard, to be kidnapped by the giant Thiassi. As Idun was the keeper of the golden apples of youth, which the gods needed to eat in order not to grow old, they were eager to get her back, and so they forced Loki to use his tricks and magic to retrieve her from Jotunheim. Loki helped Thor trick the giant Thrym, who had stolen the god of thunder's magic hammer, the Mjolnir. Thrym wanted to exchange the hammer for Freya, and Thor himself went instead, posing as the beautiful goddess. Loki accompanied him, disguised as Freya's maiden. Loki's quick answers to Thrym's questions about the bride prevented the ruse from being discovered too soon. In another story, Loki cut off the beautiful blonde hair of Thor's wife, Sif. Thor was ready to kill him, and Loki, fearful, but ever scheming, promised to make Sif, Thor's wife a much better head of hair, of pure gold that would take root and grow like real hair. After calming Thor's anger with this promise, Loki turned to the sons of Ivald, dwarves of the forge. He had them make not only the golden hair for Sif, but also a magical ship, Skidbladnir, and a magical spear, Gungnir, which later belonged to Odin. But Loki liked to gamble, and he bet with two other dwarven smiths, Brock and Sindri, that they would be unable to forge objects comparable to those made by the sons of Ivald. The dwarves Brock and Sindri then forged the magic ring Dropner, a golden boar, and Mjolnir, the magic hammer that Thor would always use. But while they worked, Loki, who had disguised himself as a fly, kept biting them to distract them so he could win his bet. When the gods saw all these wondrous objects, they declared that the Hunans Brock and Sindri had won. Loki disappeared, but Thor caught him. Brock wanted to behead the trickster god, but in the end Loki convinced him to simply sew his lips shut so that he could no longer speak quickly to get out of trouble. However, Loki painfully pulled the threads from his wounds and was free to lie again, and the gods were the beneficiaries of the wondrous magical creations the dwarves had made. I hope you liked the video, if so, give me a like, 
subscribe and don't forget to activate the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you every time I upload a video.